Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will go over the process of adding conditions to the checkout attributes on your NavCommerce site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.80. Checkout attributes are those attributes that are displayed on the shopping cart page and enables the user to select them, if required, before checkout. A store owner can easily define these checkout attributes in the admin panel. Let's go to the admin panel to learn more about conditions checkout attributes. Go to catalog, attributes, checkout attributes. For this example, let's say you would like to ask your customers if they want their order to be gift wrapped. Click on add new, name it as, do you need gift wrapping? Same text in the text prompt. Let's make it required. This option indicates whether shippable products are required in order to display these checkout attribute. Let's make the control tab drop down list. Let's save and continue. Let's go to the attributes values tab. Let's add a new attribute checkout. Let's make no as pre-selected. And let's make yes for $10 for the gift wrapping. Save and continue. Let's go back to the checkout attribute list. Now let's add another checkout attribute. Name it as gift message. And in the text prompt, we can write, would you like to add a message? Let's make it a multi-line text box. We can define minimum length and maximum. Let's put our default value as enter your message here. Save and continue. For this option, we don't need any attribute values, but we'll go in condition and we will make this attribute conditions based on the selection from the previous attribute in which we added, do you need gift wrapping? And this conditional attribute will only be displayed when somebody select yes for gift wrapping. Save and continue. Now if you go to the public store, now let's select an item, add this item to the cart, go to the shopping cart page, and here you should be able to see the checkout attribute that we just added. Here are the attribute values by default, no will be pre-selected. If a customer wants their order gift wrap, they should be able just to select yes, and they will be charged extra $10 for the gift wrapping. And, and now that we have selected yes for the gift wrapping, we will also get an option to write a message for the card, which is a conditional attribute that is based on the selection. If you select no, it should be disappear. If you select yes, it should appear again. There are so many different ways you can make the use of these checkout attributes and the condition option according to your requirements. This is how we add conditions to the checkout attributes. Now it's time for us to wrap up the tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.